What's going on everyone? Welcome back again in this video, in this guide, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Apple Watch messages. It really is a straightforward process and there is a very like seamless integration between your Apple Watch and iPhone. So let me break it down the steps and let's get started. So when you pair your Apple Watch with your iPhone, many of the settings and data are automatically synced. This includes your Apple ID and making the transition smooth and ensuring your watch functions as an extension of your iPhone. This close integration means most of the settings you have in your iPhone will also apply to your watch as well. And by this I of course want to say that the first step is to go to the watch app on your iPhone and then navigate to the messages section. Here you have two primary options. You can either mirror your iPhone settings or customize them specifically for your watch. Mirroring your iPhone means all your notification settings and other stuff will be duplicated on your watch and this can be a very convenient option if you want consistent settings across both devices. But if you prefer a customized setup, select the custom option and this allows you to adjust the settings as notification alerts, sounds, haptics and stuff like that. For instance, if you're not receiving notifications on your watch, ensure that the alert settings are configured correctly. You can choose to receive sound alerts, haptic or both. Personally, I keep my Apple Watch on silence 24-7, relying solely on haptic notifications. However, I still keep the sound on, so when I switch to normal mode, the notifications also make a sound. So customize these settings to fit your preferences and daily routines. For iMessages, your settings on the Apple Watch can also be managed through the iPhone settings. So if you go to the settings app on your iPhone and navigate to the messages section and tweak any settings as needed there, it's going to apply to the iPhone and Apple Watch as well. So as I say, since these devices are tightly connected, any changes will also reflect on the watch. So yeah, that's how it works. This is essentially how you manage and set up messages on your Apple Watch. It is a simple process, but if you have some specific question, you can let me know below in the comments. Chances are that me or someone else will have the answer to that, so go ahead and try it out. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll see you in the future.